Let's warm up. Everybody ready? Hands at your waist. Turn your neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch your neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your shoulders, lift them up, curl them over. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Expand your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Waist exercise. Look at the heel of your opposite foot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Airplane, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Touch toe. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shift your weight, kick your foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick your butt. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Heisman, opening up our stance, parallel feet, cross and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Short one. One, two, three, four, five. Other way. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, golden cockle. Shift your weight up, center, counter.
business. Well, that was nice. I think we all enjoyed that part of Tai Chi. And then we had to dig down deeper and refine those movements. So we le last left off on um, Maiden working her shuttle. So we're going to try to move on all the way through the end. And then maybe by next week, we can start to mix and match the 16 Tai Chi walk and other, other things. So in the last um, golden cockerel, we're um, up like this. Is that right? Out, hold your ball. Out, out, hold your ball up. Maiden on her right. Sit back, take an out step, hold your ball, hand, heel out, hand out, up to move that shuttle, then this way. Half step to the back, going down, needle to the bottom of the C. Up, out, start in the middle, this way. Just run it all the way through. Look for something different. Am I doing it right? And a discovery is that just like all of Yang Sal has a commencing, all of Yang Sal has the exact closing. So learn it well in one form and apply it to all three forms, okay? So that's what we're learning in the intro class, but I'm sure it could be brushed up for all the classes. Also reminding you that this session, we're emphasizing that movements are gained only through body movements and not purely through arms and hands and outer extreme extremities, okay? So in other words, just to make that point on um, warding off, you know that there are two parts, but when my body turns, I have more leverage to come out and join. Watch again. Out and to the side, ward off. My torso turns and what happens? Just because my arm is attached to my body, it then appears as if I'm doing something more. But it's actually my core muscles and my, my trunk that is making that movement. So somewhere along the line, all of our movements need to incorporate using of the whole, usage of the whole body. Okay, and it becomes apparent also with our lesson, which is uh, made in works or shuttle. Can we just try that so you understand what I'm trying to say? We're gonna ward off, but and the, when you ward off, you use your brunt of your hand. It's not like this. Because why? I'm not using any of my, I tried not to use any of my body to make this part work for me. All I'm using is my hands and dragging my uh, hips and waist after I make that hand motion. So we want to keep it together. We want to keep it as a, a total body movement. So the mind dictated my body, my, bo my body then showed me when the outer limits were. It wasn't the other way around where I knew I needed to get here and then flip and then join it. Okay, it's very different. So let's try that. On a T stance, we're gonna ward off. L stance, front of the hand, forearm him. Use your body to accelerate and meet, then drag down. Here again, dragging down because the weight is on the back, the hands logically move back. Here again, logically come back. It's not just the hands moving backwards. Okay, here again, let's polish this closing up. Sit back, twist and turn, open and open. It's okay to have the feet staggered. 
in and in. Move over with your right hand on the inside of the cross for safety. Up, rotate, out, palms downward, shoulder width, drop down, up. Okay, and this requires a lot of balance, so take your time as you do it. Okay, all those increments. So getting back to closing form so we can, we'll have a good time, uh, good uh, easy motion. Sit back. Better you can sit back, the better you can pivot and turn. Pivot on your heel to open and open. Pivot in heel, um, heel in hand. Shift your weight to the left as you help yourself by consolidating your energy. Right hand on the inside, up, push out, separate, closing form, okay? All right. Any questions? Okay. So you remembered what how I started because I can't remember how I started. All right. So which one is it now? Um, all right. Last last serpent. Okay. Split. Drop. Halfway, veer out, right, up, heel down, hold your ball, heel out, hand out, shuttle, forehead, push. Sit back, out, hold your ball, heel, hand, push that shuttle up, turn it, push. Half step to the back, and then we'll continue. Go into a, a set, right hand holding, uh, right hand forward, left hand on a hook. Coming up, up, right? Heel down, hold your ball. Heel out, shuttle up, forehead out. Bottom hand comes up, sit back, twist out. Hold your ball, heel, hand, push that shuttle up, turn, push. Half step to the back, set up the right hand, left hand counterbalance, down, up, other hand, start in the middle, heel, out, flash arms. Sit back, twist, Fist on your toe, at the heel and elbow go down to deflect. Bring it in, left hand, left foot comes out to parry. Touch and roll back. Okay. When you do the maiden, it's a roll of the ball and then a thrust, okay? Say, if you're here, it's a roll of the ball hand is down here. The hand does not roll and keep going. It's, it will get there. Out, roll, that gets your hand cocked here, and this comes up. But what do you do with the rest? That's the twist of the hip. That's the finisher. So try to, the, the, the tendency is to, that's too advanced, both advanced. But what you want to do is say, ball stays home, and it just does this, okay? You step out, ball stays home like this, protects here, and then when I turn, I get side protection, and I deliver. Same, that, that's, again, you, you finish off with a twist. Here is advance, advance, because what you did was just, you, you're coming up forward, and you're finishing off with this. Slightly, slight bit of difference, okay? I guess if you, if you ended up like this, that's, that's maybe close enough, but I, I'm thinking roll ball advance, thrust. The maiden works her shuttle, shuttles, and the shuttle is on a 
She's on a weaving loom. So she's moving the shuttlecock and then she's placing it. Okay? So if she comes out this way, she brings it up, she leaves it here, and the other hand comes up and it holds the place. Okay? So right hand, forward hand, left hand counterbalance, left foot up. Out with your heel as you hold your ball. Out with your heel as you zigzag, push that shuttlecock up, turn out. Sit back, out step, hold your ball, zigzag, out with your heel, out with your hand, up, turn, push. Half step to the back, set up your right hand, weight on the right, counterbalance on the left, needle, up, one, two, foot, heel, flash arms. Sit back, twist, and fist. Heel out, elbow out, and then I guess I usually run to the other side of the room and then we parry and we punch. Okay. We know that in serpent we need to keep our toe in line with the heel. We come down. This is the second serpent. We're going to Pivot all the way to the zigzag position. So not out forward. And then we're coming up. We're coming down on our heel as we hold our ball on a zigzag. Out on our heel on another zigzag. Up with that hand, turn it on your forehead and advance the bottom hand as you square off your he uh, hips and waist. Sit back. Twist out, hold your ball, zigzag, left heel, left hand, up the shuttle, rotate, push. Half step to the back as you set up your right hand, down, up, join it with the other hand, lift up your knee, foot, left, out. Sit back, rock, twist, fist on your toe, heel, elbow, bring it in, heel out, hand out as you parry, and punch. Touch, roll back, roll up and forward. Here's a test. Sit back, twist and turn, open and open without dropping that glass face, in and in. Right hand sweeps to the inside, up, rotate, out, separate, drop shoulder, drop weight, wrist and elbows, closing form. Okay. I want to try to uh, help you a little bit more because I feel that if I let some of you go that it becomes too hard to undo because it is kind of wrong, okay? But always remember that your body will dictate your movements, 
All right, just no words. I want you to watch how I do my Tai Chi walk. No words, and you make your own observations. It's easy for me to explain, but I want you to observe and notice something that maybe you can use or have never really realized. Then I'm gonna ask you to share. So can you be thinking about this? Like I said, it's easy for me to tell you, but the thing that sticks with you is your evaluation and observation that is more powerful. Okay, what did you see that you think um, was something different or something that you would like to incorporate. Yes. Good. So Sumi made an observation. She said that once you're out on a zigzag, the next pattern is straight away and the next pattern is a zigzag. Is that right? Yeah, so she, she's saying, we went this way, when we go this way, then we go this way, and then we go this way, and this, she is right. Is that a good observation? So the back foot does adjust, stand. Good observation. I tried my best and I think that that in itself is one big area in which a beginner or a long time student, if not done correctly, will have hips and knee problems. So this is what Doug observed, which is excellent. He said that beyond what we said about addressing our hips and waist to the outward foot, this hip and waist, the hips and waist, start to turn and only flatten as it is exactly square to the outward foot. One more time and then I'll show you what is wrong, okay? This is it, out, maybe I'll do another stance, okay? I move and I square, I flatten. Sit back, I come out, squaring both hips, heel, shifting and squaring, then flatten. This is wrong, okay? Don't do it. Out, squaring, heel, down, then coming here. That's gonna put a lot, a lot of pressure, unwanted pressure, then your, your knee joints are gonna hurt. So you don't want to come down and then make the rotation. So here again, our premise in which our our, our classes are taught is that we want to better use our body to make our movements, not just move and say that's Tai Chi by not using our body. So the power and energy is locked in my back foot. It has to come up, around, and out, and out this way. There is no way, if this is a weightless foot, it can move. But once I flatten it down, the energy is stored here. I put this out, I have to bring the energy up and across and out and then down, okay? 
So Tai Chi walk is a challenge. To do it correctly, you need to work on it. And it's not an isolated exercise. It is the basis of the 24 and the 16. And we're talking about our whole body moving. This is it at the farm. Again, getting back to basic concepts. It's, you are, you, you're turning to face the direction that this foot has predicated. This is your, now becomes your substantial foot. So if you come in this direction and then you, you become substantial, what happens? The knee is not set down and torqued. You, 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 this is, you still got the weight here, but you, you, as you came forward, then it's here, then you put your weight on your knee. These were made to do this. They were not made to do one of these things. So you don't prematurely step down here and then turn this way. Similarly, when you come here, you don't put down here and then come this way. It's on one hand, this is advancement. This is rotation. And that's how the transfer of power is in this direction, but also in this direction. Because what happens to your hands? Whatever you're doing, that's the, that's the end of the maneuver after the power has come from leg to waist to upper trunk moving as an axle. And, and that, that is throughout uh, the Tai Chi movement. And much of Tai Chi movement of the body is advancement or reversal associated with turning of the waist. No matter how small the turning of the waist is, it, it's, it's there, you know, from here, here, turning of the waist body. You come back here, as you, as you come down, you're turning your waist, so you will be addressing in this way. And, and you center your, your, with your ball, and then you come out, insubstantial, I'm going to turn to make it substantial, but as I do, I have to turn my body before that foot comes down straight. Because if I do this and do that, not good for here, not good for here. So to go slowly is more difficult. But in going slowly, you think through what you need to do. Okay? I can't say enough. It's the foundations in which we, um, we learn Tai Chi. Sit back, twist. L, bow, sit back, twist, L, bow. Getting ready to hold our ball, sit back, twist, left hand on the bottom, out, part the wild horse's mane. Sit back, twist, L, part the wild horse's mane. Sit back, twist, L, final parting. Half step, spin it, sit on the back foot, up, down, set. Drop your front foot as you bisect, look back, Bring it to your ear and multitask. Out L stance, bow stance. Turn the volume, sit back, out. Brush your knee. Sit back, out. L stance, bow stance. Half step. Sit back on the back foot, rock the front foot, play your lute on your heel. Center, drop the front foot, open, lift, ear, toe, heel. Pivot to the middle, repulsing of the monkey. Center, open, lift, ear, toe, heel, center, 
repulse two. Center, open, lift, ear, toe, heel. Final repulse. Pivot, hold your ball, you can leave it on. Out and to the side, ward off, energy up and across. Roll back, down, up, out. Sit back, twist, T, L, grass the bird's tail. Contact push, roll back. Sit back, twist, cup, T, cup, hook, L, out. Sit back, cup, cloud hats. Middle or cup, flip me open, middle or cup. Let me close, middle or cup. Let me open, middle or cup. Flip me, cup. Look at the backhand, hook at, hook at, look at it. Step out, second single whip. Half step, sit back, pat your horse, cross. Step out to your left, palms down, up, out. In, heel, double punch. Sit back, twist, left hand, left foot up, out. Hook, split, drop, half wave, ear to the left, set. Up, hold and copper. Toe down, pivot, hook, split, drop, halfway, veer to the right, set, up, golden copper. Extend the knee, hold your ball. Heel out, hand out, turn, maiden. Sit back, out. Hold your ball, heel, hand, up, turn, out. Halfway to the back, half step to the back, set up the right hand, down, needle to the bottom of the seat. One hand, two hands, extend the knee, out, heel, start in the middle, flash arms. Sit back, rock, pivot, toe, heel, elbow, to deflect, carry and punch, roll back, roll up and forward, sit back, twist, open, in, embrace the tiger, up, rotate, out, separate, Make yourselves the ball. Closing four. Okay, so as you can see, um, Tai Chi, the learning and the journey of Tai Chi is endless. We can keep on going, and it's really never fully mastered, and that's what makes it a nice discipline. The more you learn, the more there is to learn. Good job, see you next time.